Alright guys, so now in this part we're going to be working on the headlights and uh, you can see I have two images open up right here. Uh, These images are not available in the reference image so I'm going to leave another link for you guys to download each of these images. I think there's about five images I'm going to be using in this video. So I'll put a link in the description for you to get those images and use it as your reference as well. So you can see right here I have two images opened up and uh, I want to show us the type of uh, headlights we're going to be modeling because there's pretty much different types of headlights for this particular car. So uh, if you take a look at the one up here, these ones are very similar headlights, but if you take a look at the one up here, you can notice that these uh, extra piece of lights here are three. Okay, you can see we have one, two, three. You can pretty much tell with the steps that we have over here. So there's one here, there's two here, and there's three here. But the one over here only has two. All right. So uh, you can pretty much choose whichever one you want to go with. But I think I'm going to go with the one above because uh, it looks pretty much more simple than the one below. So let's go ahead and then get started on this. So I'm going to take the hood uh, mesh over here and go into edit mode. And I want to take this whole edge over here. I think it selected the whole thing. So let me just right click on this and let's move on to this side. Let's move on to this side. And I'm going to hold down the right click and then hold down control and then right click on this is what I mean. Just like that. And then we can go ahead and then duplicate this with shift and D, press P and separate the selection. So that now we have only this edge over here. So we just got to clean it up a little bit. Let me just go into wireframe. I want to take this and then slide it out to about there. I think it should be good. No, I think it has to. It has to moving a bit more uh, let's just slide it in to there I think yeah and now we can delete that vertex and uh, dissolve some of the ones over here so I'm just gonna take these to dissolve it and dissolve this last one over here and there we go all right let me just slide this somewhere to the middle just like that all right let's get over here let me dissolve this vertex and now we can move on to the one below uh, I want to take this piece right here let me take it from here all the way to here and then shift and D this and P to separate the selection and now we can join those two so one and then two did I select it I think yeah control J to join them and there we go all right I'm gonna take this let me get to the front view so I can align this better so I'm gonna move it in the x-axis to there and I think the y-axis as well to there now I can take this and merge it at the one above and let's dissolve this vertex here now let's get onto the side I'm going to take this vertex and then slide it up to about there I think that should be good yeah alright so what I'm going to do is let me just take all of the ones above and I'm going to scale it in the y-axis okay just so it is the same level as the space we have back here it's not exactly on top of that area so we got to make sure that now let me just rotate it well, let me get to the front view first and rotate now rotate in the y-axis just so it pulls in a bit oh come on yeah so rotate in the y-axis just so it pulls in a bit like that oh I may have undo that let me just try that again so scale in the y and scale it down to about there should be good all right, let me just deselect this. Let me move this in a bit. And there we go. That should be good. All right. So now let me just get over here, go into edit mode, and I'm going to take all of these. Let me let me move on up here and take a look at something. All right. So I think I'm going to take I'm going to take these ones, okay? So from here all the way to down here, I'm going to press shift and D, press B to separate the selection, and I'm going to take this, take that, not that one, this Deselect this and press Ctrl J. Okay, hold on. Let me take a look. Yeah, there we go. Ctrl J to join them. Let's go into edit mode. All right, now I'm going to take this one. I'm going to move it in the y axis a bit more because I think that's quite the space there. So I'm just going to move it a bit like that. And that means we have to move this in a bit as well. So I'm just going to take it from here all the way to here. And I'm going to press S and Y and then just scale it down to about there. And that should be good. All right, now I'm going to take this and merge it to the last one over there, and I'm just going to dissolve that vertex. All right, so that's good. Okay, so I'm just going to take it from the top here all the way to here as well, 
Now I'm going to press S and then Y, and then scale this in as well to about there, and that should be good. All right now, we can take one and then two and press F, and that should fill in that area. We can just add in two more in the middle, and that should be good. All right, now we can take that whole thing, press F to fill it, and we can press I to insert just a bit. Uh, I'm not sure how big we want to do it, but it's this black. It's this black area we have right here that we're creating. So I'm just going to insert it a bit like that. Should be good. And I'm going to delete the faces. And now what we want to do is, first of all, let me fix this area. So I'm just going to knife it from here all the way to there. Press E. And then knife it again from here all the way to there. Now let's take these four and press F. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it from here all the way to back here. I mean all of these. We have to take all of those edges. Yeah, and then let me just get onto the to the front view. And I'm gonna pull this up in the z-axis just so it goes a bit into the bonnet we have up there. I'm just gonna pull this out a bit like that. I'm just gonna press S and then X and scale it out a bit like that. And let's get onto the side. Uh, is it good? Okay, it's good on this side. Let's take a look at this side as well. Uh, come on. Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. Let me just take this to and pull it in the y axis like that. That should be good. Let me take this, pull it out a bit like that. And I think that should be good. That actually took a lot of time. Alright, now let's take the whole thing and extrude it in the y axis. Y. Yeah, so you just have to press Y twice. And let's extrude this back to. I don't know how far inside we want to go, but I think that should be enough. I'm going to press X and delete the faces on the back, take the whole thing, press Shift and N to recalculate the normals, and that is the first piece. So we're just going to click on Object and select Shade Smooth. And let's just add in the supporting edge loops. Alright, so that's the first stage. Now we can move on to the next step, and uh, that is to create this piece we have over here that moves all the way down here. That's what we're going to be creating next. So let me just get onto the side, and uh, I'm going to take all of these, all of this edge here. Let me just zoom into this area, and uh, we're going to take all of this edge. Alright, I want to press Shift and D to duplicate it. P to separate the selection. We're going to make it its own object. So let me just go into wireframe. I mean into edit mode now. And uh, we can start doing this as well. So let me just get onto this side. Uh, you can see it doesn't go all the way all the way down on this side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete this vertex down below here, and maybe slide this up a bit to about somewhere I don't know, say there should be good. And we can delete all of the ones here all the way to. Oh, we could just keep that maybe. Let me just delete. Uh, okay, let me press Ctrl and R through here and then add in one over here. And let me take this whole piece here from here to here. Let me get to the front view real quick. And shift and D this and then, and then move it in a Z axis to about somewhere. I'm not sure. Say, uh, I think it's going to come down a bit more to somewhere there. Yeah, I think that should be good. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, so let me just move it in a y axis bits out, just like that. And let me just take this, get onto the front view again. I want to slide this in a bit because it's it's much bigger in this area. Oh no, it's not this side, it's this side instead. So I'm just gonna extrude this out to about somewhere here, the size of this area right here. So let me just press G and move that to about there, or maybe a bit more inside to there and let's just extrude this down in the z axis to somewhere there let me just take this press s and z and type in zero just so they're the same level and now we have to align it on this side so let me just get to the side view i'll just get out of that view and pull this inside in the y axis let's go to the top view see if we can get a better idea yeah so like that and yeah i think that's good let me just yeah, let me pull this in a bit more, just like that. And now we can take this and pull that also in, not too far inside, but it has to move inside to about somewhere there. 
think that should be good maybe yeah should be good should be good now let's get on to the front view again and see what we're looking at uh, I'm now gonna take I think I'm gonna slide this inside there a bit more to about there let me just take this and move it out to about there some more like that all right just move it out a bit more like that and that's pretty good all right nice so I'm gonna take this to and press F and I'm just gonna slide this up a bit to about there let's just move this in take these two as well and move them in a bit like that let me just move this in some more let me take all of these press S and X scale it in some more all right not bad that's a good start uh, yeah I think these ones have to move in come on yeah these ones have to move in so let's select it all the way to here and press S and Y and scale it in to about there I think let me take a look from this side all right maybe we should pull this out instead so let's pull this out in the y-axis yeah that should be good and let me just put one more in here just pull it out a tiny bit and that should be good okay just take a look at this real quick yeah let me get to the front view again and I'm gonna slide this up to about there let me take this to and press F dissolve the extra vertex we have in here and let me just delete this vertex for now and delete all of the edges below all right very nice uh, what's next I don't think we have anything extra in here so I'm going to delete this vertex real quick vertex and dissolve this one right here all right that's good for now uh, we can now press F I think hold on let me take a look at this area okay uh, it's a bit weird it's a bit it looks a bit weird but first of all what I'm gonna do is let me just press F all right and I'm gonna insert this inside a bit to uh, it's not that thick so I'll just try to keep it minimal to some point there like that and I think that should be good let's just delete the faces for now let's take a look at what we have all right not bad let's get to the front view again and I feel like this is gonna take a lot of time but we should get it done let me just take this and then slide it inside a bit like so and we're gonna take this press G twice and then C slide that in as well just a bit like that I want to slide this in some more take this press G twice and then C G twice and then C and slide that in as well G twice and then C slide that in a bit like that let me just take these two press G twice and then C slide it out into that area and I'm just gonna move it in the Y axis a bit like that and that should be good all right now let's take a look at this side as well press G twice and then C let's just slide it out like that and I think that should be good let me zoom into this area see what we have let me slide this out and slide it out like that let me do the same thing here just like that and that's coming out good uh, let's get onto the side right here I'm just knife this to here press E knife this to there press E oh I don't do that let's try that again so E I mean left click press E and then cut this again all the way to there let's confirm it now I'm gonna delete the one here so vertices so we can delete that in the middle and let's merge this to the last and merge that also to the last and there we go so that is the first stage and uh, I think what we're gonna do is let's extrude this in the y-axis again all the way to the back maybe a bit further like that and let's delete the faces over there press it in N to recalculate the normals all right very nice so I'm just gonna select object and select shade smooths and let's just adding the supporting edge loops it needs
Alright, so what I'm going to do in this area is I'm going to take all of these, okay? So I need to send it up a bit. So let me get to the front view. I'm just going to press G and then Z and send it up just a bit, just like you can see right here. Just so we can send it up and now we can move it in the Y axis just like that to kind of match with that surface. Uh, yeah. Let me just take, make this the active element and rotate it in the Z axis just a bit like that. And yeah, that should be good. Alright, so I think we can press Ctrl and R2 here and add in supporting edge loops in this area, maybe. I'm not so sure. Just pull this quite close like that. That's pretty good. And I think we can add one on the outside as well. Pull it close like that. And that should be good. Hopefully that didn't give us any issues, which it didn't. So yeah, that's good. Alright, so what's the next thing we can move on to? I think we can just go on and create the inner area of this side but if you're paying attention I'm just gonna leave this side as it is but if you're paying attention to the headlights you can see this piece that we created actually ends somewhere here and the one on the inside is actually what that extends to the up here and covers the whole area but I'm just gonna leave mine as it is it's not gonna make much of a difference so we're just gonna leave it as that all right now let me just take we're gonna have to go inside a bit so I'm gonna take this one instead and I'm going to press Shift and D and press P to separate the selection. Now let's take that one and clean it up for surfacing. Alright, so let me just get over here. Take this and we're going to delete that vertex. Take that, delete that vertex and delete everything else. So I'm going to take 1, 2, 3, 4, press F, take these two. Let's press F all the way. F, F, and I'm going to fill this one as 3. Fill this one as well as three. Let's take these two. Press F. No, hold on. I think we need one more in here. So loop tools space just to even it up. And I'm going to I'm going to dissolve these two vertices here. Okay. I don't think we need those. Let me just take this, move it in the x-axis, and move it down in the z-axis. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. Dissolve these two. Move this down in the Z axis and move it in the X axis. Alright, so now we can take these two and press F all the way to the bottom. Now I'm just gonna, let me get to this side. Okay, we can merge these three as one as well. It doesn't have to be three. Alright, now I'm gonna select object and select Sage Smooth. And there we go. Alright, so that's the headlamp. Now, if you go ahead and then add in, first of all, let me, let me make this side look much better. So I'm going to bevel this area by pressing Ctrl B. I'm just going to bevel it to kind of give it a bit more of a roundedness than just smooth, as you can see right here. And let's take this and let's just slide it in there and slide it down. And that's pretty much it. Alright, not bad. So I think it's coming out great. Now, this is going to act as the glass. So uh, let me just extrude it in the Y axis just a tiny bit to give it that uh, solid solidness or solidify and uh, I'm going to duplicate it and move it in the Y axis again just a bit to act as the chrome interior so let me just take this let me just take this one this one right here and I'm going to press shift and N to recalculate the normals and uh, I think we can enable auto smooth for this so let me just oh, let me just press B to separate this before we enable the auto smooth so let's go over to the vertex tab here go to normals and enable auto smooth and we can change this up to some value like uh, 75 just something high let's drop that down a bit to 60 maybe lower 50 yeah so 50 is good as you can see very nice now let me just let me just get rid of the extra faces we have in here it's causing some artifacts so let's take this let's just press X and delete the faces just to get rid of that issue we have there all right very nice so I'm gonna take this and then hide it now we're going to take this one. Now it's a chrome. It's a chrome interior, okay? So we're going to put two edge loops in here and move it in the Y axis just to kind of bend it inside a bit. So it has a light bar going through it. If you pay attention, you can actually see it right here in the middle. It has a light bar in there. So you can actually model that and also has some lines in it. You can also do that if you want, but I'm going to do that off camera. Basically what I mean by lines is it is something like this. Let me just add in some extra vertices and try to demonstrate that here. So I'm going to add in about 50. 
and uh, we're gonna go to select and check a deselect check a deselect where is it select should be here somewhere uh, select check uh, deselect all right it's not it's not doing that I don't know why okay so let me just try and then deselect them one by one yeah so after they are deselected you can see this is what I'm talking about if we just move it in the y-axis like that you can see we have some sort of uh, lines in it that's what I was trying to talk about and just move it in a bit more like that so you can see those lines now it's 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 looking like that because we have the shade smooth applied to it so let me just pull it out a bit and let's just shade it as flat so object shade flat and you can see what I'm talking about this is what I'm talking about so try to do that inside of this area I'm gonna do that right now but I'm gonna remove it out of the video and just skip to the part where I finish it alright so you can see I've done that now and uh, I just did that real quick now uh, we're gonna move on to the next part now I said there's a, a sort of a light bar going in the middle of them if you take an actual close look you can actually see it it's right here you can see that light bar you can create that on your own as well because I'm not gonna try to create that with you guys I'll just do it off camera alright so let's move on to the next part and uh, that is to take this side right here so I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this piece I guess and I want to press shift and D to duplicate it, P to separate the selection and I want to take that now and let me just take this, slide it down to somewhere there let me just delete this vertex and let's get onto this side right here so I'm going to take this as well let me just delete that and delete the rest that is up there alright so um, okay first of all let's bring that back and let me delete the one up here instead and let's take the whole thing, press F to fill it it did take the whole thing, I meant the whole thing, okay, yeah, so F. Let's take the whole thing and press F to fill it. And I'm going to insert some phases in here. Let's just insert it to some point like that, about the thickness of the one above, so some point there. I'm just going to use the knife tool and cut this side all the way to here. Let me just merge this at last. Alright, very nice. So I'm going to do the same thing here as well. Cut this. Or we could just we could just get rid of this one right here and take these two and delete those as well. And there we go. So let me just get onto this area down here. And I'm just gonna press G twice and then C and then slide it in there like that. Alright, not bad. Let me just take a look at this side. Okay, let me just take these two and pull it in the y-axis a bit. I'm just gonna pull it a bit more, and that should be good. Alright, so that's going to act as this white area we have in here, as you can see. Alright, so uh, like I said, I'm going to be going with the one up here, these three over here. But for the base, I think I might be going with the base in this one. But I'll go with the three lumps on the top here instead. So let's do that and you get what I mean. So I'm going to extrude this in the y-axis. Extrude it. It's not going. So G and N Y. I'm just going to pull it in Y axis, G and in Y, pull it some more, press X and delete the faces. And I'm just going to press Shift and N to recalculate the normals. And yeah, that came out great. Let me just delete the extra faces we have here. We don't need those. I'm just going to slide that in some more, just so it intersects. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Delete the faces, slide this in, just so it intersects. Alright, now I want to take that select object and select shade smooth, just to shade it smooth. And we're going to add in supporting edge loops now. Alright, so there we go. So the headlight is really coming out great. Uh, the next thing we can do is to create the division or the uh, kind of extra piece we have down here. We're going to be creating that next. So let's get on to the front view. We don't, I don't think we have that in the blueprint. No, we don't. So we're going to have to make this by hand. And let me just go into edit mode. And uh, I don't know how much space we have to use, but let me just take the edge over here. Okay, so I'm going to take one and then two and then take that edge, these two. Take that edge, press shift in D. And we're going to move it in the Y axis onto the second line. We could, have just, we could have just duplicated that one instead. And press P to separate the selection. Now we're going to take that. I'm going to try to match this. 
as accurately as we can. So let's just try to get the space in between the two quite equal. So I think it's about a third of the whole thing. Okay, so if we're talking about a third, this is about one third. This is two thirds, and that will be the third part. So if this is one third, and we're gonna move this to about somewhere there. And let's just slide this back in there to about somewhere there. So that should be about a third of it, I think. Let's extrude it down in the Z axis. Let's see what we have. All right, not bad. And then move it in the X axis like that. I think we're gonna have to move it in the X axis here a bit more uh, to some point there like that. Let me just move it in a Y a bit out. And there we go. So I'm just gonna get to the front view. Let me take this now. Let me see, I think we have to pull it out. I'm not sure how far out, but it definitely doesn't have to pull out too much. So I think somewhere there should be good. Let me get to the top view, make sure it's not pulling out too much. So I'm just gonna pull it out like that. That should be good. Let me just rotate it in the Z axis inward like that. Just pull it out some more. And I think that should be good. Yeah, so let me just take the whole thing and move it in the Y axis a bit more. Yeah, so there we go. Now let me get to the front view, and let's just let's just move them in a bit more. Okay, so this one pulls in a bit, this one pulls in a bit. And let's just take this, pull that in there, and pull this in there. Let me just pull this out a bit more. Let me just send this into the top like that, and there we go. All right, so I think that's pretty good. Uh, let's take the whole thing and. Let's extrude it in the y-axis. I'm not sure how far inside, but I'm just gonna go about that amount. Let me just move it some more. So I think that should be good. Yeah, I think so. And let's just delete the faces. I'm gonna take these two now and then slide it out a bit to about there. That should be good. Let me get to the top and delete the face on top. Let's take the whole thing, press it to N to recalculate the normals. Not bad. Now I'm going to take the face in the middle again. And I'm going to press I to inset. Now press Ctrl B to enable boundary. Okay, just so it doesn't inset on the one on top. And uh, I'm going to set this to about there. And let's extrude it in the Y axis a bit to the inside. Like that. And that should be good. So I'm just going to press X and delete the faces. And there we go. That's not bad. Alright, so let me just select object and select shade smooth. Now we can add in supporting edge loops. Alright, so for the back here, I'm going to fill the faces and just insert it a bit like that. And let me just delete the faces. You can decide to fix this area or not because it's not visible, but I'm just going to fix it real quick and then we can proceed. Alright, so I'm going to press Ctrl and R2 here to add in one more on the back like that. Now we can take this one, press Shift and D to duplicate it, right click to keep it in place. I'm just going to shoot it in Y axis all the way to the inside like that. Let me just press S and Y and type in 0. Or you could just leave it like that and just pull it in. Alright, so let me take the whole thing, press shift and end to recalculate the normals, which I think is already good. So let's just take this edge now and let's just fill in the face and insert it a bit more. Like that. We press X and delete the faces on that side. Let me just press Ctrl and R3 here, press E, align it with that side and pull it close like that. Take the whole thing. Press Shift and N to recalculate the normals again. I'm just going to select Object and select Shade Smooth. And there we go. Alright, so now let me take this edge and pull it in Y axis all the way inside. Okay, just like that. And uh, I'm going to press Ctrl and R2 here, pull it to somewhere here. And I'm just press Shift and D to duplicate it. Press F to fill in the faces. Press P to separate the selection and dissolve that edge we added in. So dissolve, no, dissolve edges like that. So that's going to act as the chrome interior. Or whatever it is and just pull it out a bit more like that and now we just have to create the glass and that and for that we're going to take this press shift in D and just press F and now we have to give it that thickness so we're just going to press E 
and then Y twice to extrude it in the Y axis and pull it in there a bit like that. And I'm going to take that whole face or that whole object and press P and separate the selection. Let's take that one now, press Shift and N to recalculate the normals. And there we go. Alright, very nice. So everything is coming out really, really great. And you can see we're keeping things very simple, not too complicated. So that's pretty good. Alright, so over here, though, over here, I think what we want to do is let's take the whole thing and pull it in the Y axis a bit out. So I'm going to pull it out to about somewhere here. It doesn't go all the way in. So let's take this whole piece now. Okay, so these two over here, I just want us to move it inside a bit more. I feel like it's way too far outside so I'm just going to move it inside just so it's about the same level as this area right here I don't know how far inside I think it's pretty much inside a lot a lot inside so yeah I think there should be good yeah it's pretty far inside enough that should be good now let me just take this and I think it's also far out enough as I, was, as I recall I think we were pulling it out in the y-axis let's just pull it out a bit more and I think that should be good. Alright, so the rest of the area is pretty much just this black coating over here that we're seeing. That's all we're going to be making in that area. So let me just take this piece here and let me press Shift and D to duplicate it. Right click to keep it in place. I want to press B to separate the selection. Now let's take that piece now and uh, let me take this delete the vertices. Let me get onto the other side and take this and delete the vertices and let me just delete the rest of the vertices we have over there so I'm going to extrude this in the y-axis and pull it inside to about some point there take the whole thing let's make sure we have the normals we calculated accurately and uh, what are we going to do next so I think what we can do next is we can fill it on the top area as well so the way we're going to do that is I'm going to take this one right here I'm just take the faces from I don't know, say from here all the way to all the way to there, maybe. And let's just press shift in D, press B to separate the selection, and now we can take those two and press Ctrl J to join them. Now let me just take this one, this edge right here. Let me get to the front view real quick. And I'm just gonna extrude this out to about there. Let me go into wireframe, pull this back to there. And let's take a look at the whole thing. Take this to press F. And that's pretty good. I want to take this edge over here. That's from here all the way to there. And I want to pull it in the Y axis all the way inside. Like that. Let me take a look. Oh, come on. I'm not asking you to render. Alright, let me just press G and then Y and move this in some more. Alright, so let me just go into wireframe. And yeah, I think we have to pull the whole thing back a bit. So from here all the way to, I don't know, there. You just have to pull it back in the Y axis, so G and NY. Pull it back to there. And I want to take one, two, and merge it at the last. I'm just pull it down in the Z axis to there. Or I could just slide it down, like that. I think that's more convenient. And let me just merge this to this one as well, at last. Alright. So that's the first thing we're going to do to act as the black area for us. I'm just take all of the faces up here and pull them down a bit because they're intersecting with the faces above. So I'm just going to pull them down a tiny bit like that. Alright, so that's good. Now the next thing we're going to be creating is the, the headlamps and stuff that we have in there. So to do that, we're going to take a look at this area. Okay, so let's get onto the front view. And uh, let's, let's, take, let's just take one of these. So this one right here. I'm just take this face right here, press shift and D, and then move it all the way here. And I'm going to scale it down a bit, get to the front view, press G, move that to somewhere, I don't know, say somewhere there. I'm just going to scale it up a bit more to about there, and extrude it up in the Z axis to about somewhere here, G and then Z, pull it down. Let me just move it in the X axis a bit, like so. And there we go. So let me just separate that selection. Very nicely. Now we're gonna take this face, press S and Y, and type in zero because, as you can see, it's flat and it's not uh, trans. I mean, it's not diagonal. So just gonna make sure we achieve that. And I'm just gonna pull this in a tiny bit like that. And let's just make sure the face at the back is also flat like that. 
and I'm just pull it in the y axis and delete the extra face on the back. Alright, so that's a good start. It's a really good start. Uh, I'm just going to take the face up here and pull it down a bit. Let's take the one down here and pull it down just a bit. Alright, now I'm going to press Ctrl and R2 here to add one in there and pull it in the y axis. Uh, I'm going to pull it out to about there. I'm not so sure. Just pull it in some more. Let me take the whole thing and move it inside. I don't think it sticks out too much. So we got to be careful about that. Now let me take the whole thing, pull it out a bit more. So this part is actually going to take almost an hour, I think. It could be close to that. So let me just pull this out a bit more to about there. Not bad. Okay. So I'm just going to duplicate this, press P, and separate that selection for now. We're just going to hide that piece. Let's just see what name it is. It's called Hood 11. So we're just going to hide that piece for now. And let's work with this one. So I'm going to take these two faces and delete the faces. All right. Very nice. Okay. So I'm going to press Ctrl and R2 here. Add one to about... Well, let's just add in two. Deselect this one and dissolve the one above. I'm going to add two in here as well. Dissolve the one above. And let's take these two and delete the vertices. All right. Very nice. So uh, I want to take these two pieces here, press F, and let me just press I to insert this, and let's just press Ctrl B so it doesn't insert all the way to the bottom. So I'm just going to insert it all the way to somewhere there, should be good. And let's just pull it out in the y-axis, just so it's flat like that, and I'm going to delete the faces. Now, I don't know how thick that area is, but I think... Yeah, it's pretty thick enough. Pretty thick. Yeah, maybe I should. Yeah, let me just drop it down a bit more. So I'm just gonna add two or just one in here. Let me take this and delete the vertices. So uh, we're gonna take all of these vertices now and extrude it in the y-axis as well. And yeah, so we're just gonna extrude it all the way back to about there. Let me just take these two vertices here. Press F once and take these two and press F once. Now we can take that mesh, select object, and select shade smooth. And that's the first step. Now let's take all of this and all of that. So the edges. Now I'm going to press Ctrl B to bevel this. Just going to add in three. And just bevel it, I don't know, to something like... I'm going to make it four instead. So to something like that. Should be good. Alright, now let me just press Ctrl and R2 here. Press E and then F. Align it with that side. Pull it close. And I think it added it on the inside. So that's good. Alright, now let's take all of these faces here, and let's just press I to insert it a bit like that. And that's good for the first part. Alright, now let me add supporting edge loops at the bottom, so one here, and one there. Alright, very nice for a good start. Now let's bring the other hood part, let's just bring it back like that. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to take the whole thing, and let's just scale it. Let's just kill it. Let me try. Let me try normal or local. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think. Let me get to the top view. Yeah, okay. So I'm just gonna scale it in the x axis. Just scale it down to about there. That should be good. And let me just take this face on top. Or let me just. You know what? Let's delete the ones at the back. Let's delete all of these. Let me just press Ctrl and R2 here and move it all the way to some point there. Just slide it up a bit more like that. Okay, I'm gonna slide it up all the way to here and let's delete those vertices. All right, very nice. Uh, let me just slide it up a bit more. So G twice and then C. I'm gonna slide it to some point there and this area down here. I think it's pretty good. All right, so let's take the whole thing and extrude it in the y axis. Okay, let's change it back back to uh, go global. Sorry about that. So G and Y and I'm gonna move this inside to about somewhere there and let's just delete the faces and we're going to take these two faces now one two and we're going to insert those faces in a bit like that and delete the faces and we're going to take all of these vertices extrude it in the y-axis all the way to there let's take the whole thing press it to end to recalculate the normals and now we can take these edges one two three and four we can press Ctrl B to bevel them like that. And that should be good. Alright, so let's select object now and select shade smooth. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and add in the supporting edge loops. All right, very nice. So for this area right here, let me just press Ctrl and R2 here. Let me just press E and then F, align it with the one in the middle. Let's pull it somewhere there. And I'm gonna add one here as well, E, and pull it somewhere there like that. All right, so I'm gonna take those two, press V to rip it like that. And let's hide the one above. Let me just take all of these. I'm gonna take one and then two and press F. And I'm gonna add in two in the middle here. Take these two and press F to the other side. And I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing for the rest of it. All right, so now let's go ahead and add in supporting edge loops. All right, so there we go. Very nice for the first part. Very, very nice. So let me just get over here and I wanna press Ctrl and R2 here, press E and then F, align it with the area over there. And uh, I wanna add one in here as well, press E and then F, or align it with the one on the left like that. And uh, let me just add one more over here as well, press E, pull it close like that. And I wanna take this face right here and uh, let me just press I to insert it. Make sure you press Ctrl B to limit the boundary. And I'm just gonna pull it up in the z-axis, okay, like that. Okay, not bad. So uh, let me just take this, the edge. I wanna take this edge and pull it out in the y-axis a bit like that. Take this, pull it here. Uh, nope, let me just press G twice and then slide it instead to, no, that's too much, to about there. And I'm gonna do the same thing here, slide it in there to about there. And yeah, so let's just move the vertices around just to kind of match everything else. All right, so there we go, very nicely done. Let me just take this whole thing, okay? So I'm just gonna move it inside a bit more because I think we still have to go inside some more. So just pull it inside a bit more to about there. That should be good. Let me just take this piece over here. And just slide it in there like that. All right, very nice. So let's just take this select object, and select shade smooth. Let's see what we have. Uh, let me just take this. Let's try Control B. Let's see what we have. So we're just gonna add in three. Not bad. Let's do the same thing here. Control B, three, and not bad. Control and R two here. Press E and then F. Align it closer. Add one more in here as well. And there we go. All right, it's not looking bad at all. Okay, so let's get to this area now. And uh, I wanna take all of these again, or maybe we have to move in a bit more. Uh, let me just, okay, let me take both of these. Press Shift and D and move it in a Y axis to about there. Press B to separate the selection. And let's take that new piece, let's move into this area right here. And I think I'm going to merge these two, so M at last. And let me delete these two over here. Let's get onto the side and do the same thing here. Take these two, merge it at last or at the center or whatever place you want to merge them. And delete the rest and take the rest of the vertices and delete them. Alright, so I'm going to dissolve all of these and dissolve all of that. Alright, nice. So uh, let me just press F and we're going to scale this in the Y axis because. I think it's a bit more flat. Uh, let me just scale it, not too much, but a little like that. And uh, let me just insert, press Control B to remove the boundary. Just insert it a bit like that. And I'm gonna pull it out in the Y axis, just a bit like that. And uh, let's just spread these, these areas out a bit, just so we can insert some more. All right, now let's insert again. So we can insert to some point there. Uh, this is starting to look a bit frustrating. Let me just insert it a bit like that. And let's move the vertices around. All right, now let's move the whole thing out like that. And just take this and pull it out in the y-axis a bit more. Now we can take the whole thing. Let's try Control T 
let's move, let's see what we have uh, not too great so let me undo that let me just take this to press J you just select object and select shapes moves all right it's not bad it's not bad we can keep it so let me take the whole thing and let's add in the solidify so we're just gonna press E let's just extrude this in a little bit like that just to act as the glass and we can take the whole thing actually we don't want to solidify that we actually want it to be the way it is because uh, cycles will give it that nice effect if it's not solidified as though it is a very thick glass just like we have here so we're not gonna add in that solidify we're just gonna keep it as it is all right so now the back here what we're gonna do is first off let me just delete all of the faces we have in here all of these faces we're gonna delete them and uh, I don't know the back here what we can do is let me just press ctrl and R in here and add one take these two press F F F no that's not good okay let me just take these three and press F take these three and press F and we can take these three again press F and we can finally take these two. Oh no hold up let's take these two instead or we can just let's just add one more in here and let's take these three these three and press F take these two press F and press F one more time just to kind of fill the back much nicely like that all right very nice so now we just have to add in the chrome back in this area so let me just press shift and D move it in Y axis press S and Y and type in zero and let's just press F and uh, let's try in setting let's just pull it in the Y axis just like that so let me just take the whole thing and move it out a bit like that that's pretty much it for that area all right so the video is getting too long so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end it in this part and uh, continue in a part two because uh, I didn't actually expect it to take this much time but as you can see it's coming out great so in the next part we're just gonna be working on the rest of the side here and uh, also the main headlight um, I mean the, the main head head glass and then we're pretty much done with the headlights so I'll see you guys in the next video